tell, so my back hurts so bad. That's because you're getting old. Because we slept in a dang Duramax. I let them sleep in the back and I slept in the front and I like to murder mm. 80. I like to murder my dang well, back. Well, sleeping in the back, sleeping in the back with a toddler on one bucket seat anyway, was not fun at all. my back hurts so bad, so I figured <laughs> uh, why not make a loft bed in here where we have storage underneath it. Okay. And we'll have an emergency place to sleep. Oh, that sounds awesome. So we're going to raise our bed up about like this high. We'll have storage underneath and we'll have room up here to sleep. How long did it end up being? This is 80 inches. It's more than six foot. Um, 80 inches, but I think I can kind of go down about 79 ish. To where it's sticking out oh, a little bit? Oh, actually, I have to uh, subtract two by fours. So I got to. So I'm going to go 80 and then I'm going to subtract two two by four widths. But uh, anyway, the tow truck just came and got the D Max. <laughs> We should know something in a couple of days of how bad that's going to yep. uh, bend us over. Well, we already know that worst case scenario is 5,000. Best case scenario is 4,000. Well, I guess 3,000 because they said it might be 3,000. Yeah. So it could it could be all right. It could be all right. So we're going to go 77. Yeah, it might be OK. I don't know. Let's just hope for the best. He likes being in the old trailer hood. Uh -huh. I feel at home here. Myself. What'd you find? My baby snake. You found a baby snake? Yep. How cool. <laughs> you are one lucky kid. Why well, am a bug snake. You're a bug boy? Yeah, a bug boy. <laughs> That is so cool. Oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Isn't that cute? Yep. <laughs> I don't have any tools with me, so I had to borrow Andy's Sawzall. Oh. We ain't got no skill saws. I'd like to have me one of them electric DeWalt skill saw circuits. For a friggin' ride, Stand dude. Stand on it, Elion. Oh my gosh. Put your foot down. <laughs> How that many works. of these do you have to cut? <laughs> uh, quite a few. Yeah. That's not really uh, all that fun. Mommy, look. <laughs> gotta be done. Super cute, dude. You're getting mud all over our bed frame already. Yeah, well, maybe it is better if I stand on it with bare feet. Oh, you got a tape measure, don't you? You are so 57. cool. 57. It's kind of nice seeing you woodworking in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, I need to build us a wooden tent. Me and Holly need us a wooden tent that we can take apart and put back together. Shh, that's a secret. <laughs> that's our million dollar idea, Chris. You are a shot blocker. <laughs> Good job.
<laughs> Careful, it's not, it's not it's screwed not. in yet. It like my house. <laughs> Daddy may just build you a really cool house one day. Yeah. When we get our own house, we'll have to build you your own house. All right, Chris, so this is trailer renovation episode one. What's trailer renovation episode two going to be? Am I going to get a window? That'd be cool. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Maybe a little uh, little air conditioner unit. <laughs> We're not living in this thing. We're just have, we're just putting an emergency bunk in. For emergency sleeping purposes only. And we're gonna be able to slide the mattress right off into the tent. Cool. Daddy's angry. What's it catching on the fan? No, I do not. Hey, look at me, guys. <laughs> break dancing. <laughs> You're break dancing? Uh, now we ow. just gotta get some slats to. Mm -hmm. We need a few slats long ways to support the bed a little better. Something thin, some thin wood going across. Yeah. I was thinking about doing a sheet of plywood, but that'd be kind of heavy. I'm sure we just get some slats to run across and space them out a little bit. Yeah, plywood would be pretty easy. There it is. That's pretty solid. So plywood would be easy. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Now we get to put all this crap back in. <laughs> I swear we should take half of this stuff to storage. Hi, Lizzie, Penny. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty dang uh, <laughs> so. Oh. Pretty awesome. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're gonna, we can put our bed up there so we don't ever have to sleep in the truck again. You are a silly dude. Put this mattress up there. <laughs> nice. I just missed it. I just missed it. <laughs> and there it is with the mattress on it. Awesome. This is super cool. Now when the truck's fixed, we can actually travel. Yep. Travel to distant horizons. Yep. Just pull over and we'll hang the fan in here somewhere and we'll have a We'll breeze. have our own ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All three of us will be able to sleep here. That's awesome. We just need our slats going across to hold support the bottom because you got kind of some gaps in there. Yeah. So that ain't gonna support it, but that'll support the slats though. So what do we have to get those today? Yeah. We're sleeping in this tonight, right? Well, you got no choice. Unless you want to sleep in the back of the pickup truck. <laughs> I sure hope this pickup truck can handle all this weight. Okay, block mm. it. Block it. <sighs> okay, block it. Storage in the trailer seems far better now. It's actually pretty awesome. And we're taking a few things to hopefully we have a little room in storage. Yeah. Hopefully. Somebody's told Holly about that place, but it's kind of a long ride, so we're trying to find somewhere in between where we're at now and there. So we just 
excited. We're going to Crow Tan National Forest. Yes, uh, Flanners Beach. Flanners Beach. And we're in a two wheel drive now, huh? On a trailer, so we're hoping we ain't driving through no sand or nothing, because that ain't gonna work out. We didn't say anything about treacherous terrain. Alright, so. We shall see. So we're gonna go check this place out and try to camp on the beach. I don't know what kind of beach. The ocean Oysters. beach or like a lake beach? Oysters and stuff. Oysters and stuff? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go to Oyster Beach. Let's go give it a shot, I guess. It's so hard making a decision, but when you're doing everything on the fly, we don't plan any of We're just winging it. Where Every is? single adventure is made spur of the moment. Hey, let's check out this place. So we're going to go to Flanders Beach, and um, it's an hour and a half away. So it's not so far that if, it, if it's yeah. crazy or we can't Yeah, we're like, we're like three and a half hours from Uori. So this will be kind of halfway, sort of. But we're going a little further. We're going a, a tad bit south instead of. So I, I don't know. Tell YouTube. Tell YouTube. Tell them. Yeah, Ali, you won't let, won't let nobody else talk. There's gonna be sand. <laughs> and shells. And oysters. <laughs> I don't know if Newburn is that close to like the ocean, so I don't know what the heck this is. We'll find out. I hadn't even looked at it really, so. Oh crap, we were supposed to make that turn. Oh shoot. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess okay. we gotta. It's is, she, is she recalculating? Yeah, I just add it to it. I think we can live with that. It'll take 10 minutes to go up here and turn around. Right. Alright. Stop vlogging and pay attention to the road. Let's get there, y'all. Heard it. That thing, pine needle, has been hanging on to that thing for like a long time. <laughs> And it started pouring down, and now we just found out that there are severe thunder thunderstorms in effect for the next two days. Uh, and our lives. A and you're eating a banana nut muffin. <laughs> and the tea is good. Thank you, Sid. Zip ties, man. Zip ties? It took <laughs> zip ties to fix the windshield wipers. I turned the truck on. Yeah, you sure did. Go. Cool. Maybe that'll work. So, um, Chris here got us to the most expensive tourist trap in North Carolina, where the hotels are like two to four hundred dollars a night. <laughs> so, we were gonna get a hotel just to kind of wait out the rain because Chris cannot be building the tent putting up the campsite in the rain. So I figured why not just get a hotel? The hotels are like two to three to four hundred dollars a night. Oh my god. Because it's a tourist area. So, hmm, we live on the edge, man. We are like screwed. This ain't gonna work. I guess we, Oh my god, we just headed down like kind of like south some. Stop pushing everything. You, you, you feel that? You feel that tension? You feel that tension? We yeah. just uh, kind of went sort of south. We could have just kept going west towards Uari. I don't know. We hadn't checked the weather there either. so mm -hmm. It could be storming there too for two days. Uh -huh. How about Rocky Mount? I bet hotels are cheap in Rocky Mount. No, I bet they're not cheap in Rocky Mount. Why? Because it's another tourist area. Everywhere that you go. Why is Rocky Mountain a tourist area? There ain't nothing in Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain High. Yeah, there was Some of the cheap, cheapest houses I've seen are in Rocky Mountain. 
I'll I'll look that up, but I guarantee you it's. I know this is gonna be a tough ride. It's gonna be hot as balls in here because we have no air. We sure do bitch a lot. Where are we at? Pay the quality in. What's going on right now? Shit looks abandoned. That looks like a prison. Holly booked us a, an abandoned hotel. <laughs> looks like a prison. What the hell? Is this? Are we really? Oh man, man! Look at that shit! <laughs> Did an airplane fall on the roof? It looks like an old neighborhood we used to live in when I was on Section Eight. Dear God! Let's take it out. Dang, man! Motel. What is this? This is like. Hookers and pimps work up in here, man. <laughs> what the heck did you book? Did you not read the reviews? Oh my god. Holly didn't read no reviews on this jank. We stayed in a Magnuson before it was nothing like this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna walk up in there and they're gonna be like, what are you doing here? Oh man, this this hotel should be rented by the hour. I'm sure they have hourly rates. <laughs> mm. Fire? What is this? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> the Magnuson Hotel. Once you check in, you'll never check I out. should have named this the Magnum Hotel. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this part of it. Oh my god, it's the abandoned hotel. Let me get a screenshot so I can use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Wow, we're really staying here, guys. Yeah, I don't think we are. How much is the quality in? I already paid, man. There's a toilet in <laughs> Oh my god, this is so bad. And I had to pee in that toilet. <laughs> yeah, we're prepaid, man. Hey, Holly. Yeah. Did you bring, did you, uh, you bring your crack pipe? And condoms. <laughs> Why are we all fogged up? <laughs> it's hot in here. Oh my gosh, just show me a picture of this hotel so I know I'm at the right place. Dude, this, uh, in that big sign it said the mag zum or whatever the heck this is called. No, it just said motel. It said motel in painted letters. Well, oh, GPS right. said this is the Magsum or whatever you call this place. Come on, man. This is insane. I didn't know they had an abandoned part. How do you have a, an abandoned part of your hotel? Did it catch on fire from smoking crack? <laughs> Stop it. I'm trying to go to the quality <laughs> end. I mean, I know, I know, I have zip ties on my dang windshield wipers, but good lord! Oh my god! No! I wouldn't even stay here if I was single. Bullshit! <laughs> You've arrived. You've arrived. <laughs> You better tell them our room ain't in the abandoned part. <laughs> we don't want that room. <laughs> We're literally staying, they're literally renting out the abandoned <laughs> hotel. You breathe <laughs> Whoever owns this fucking thing is a pimp. A straight up pimp. Mommy, are you crying? <laughs> I cannot take it. I cannot take it. There ain't enough beer in the world for me to stay here. Are you crying, Mom? I I bet you a hundred dollars there's a freaking there's a heroin needle under the bed in here. We haven't even told him about the truck. <laughs> I haven't even told him. <laughs> Look how nice the pictures look of this Jake. 
Look, the beds look all nice and brand new. Look, the sign looks great in the picture. Like, it's all, like, bright and lit up. Did we even show the sign? Did you show the sign out there? <laughs> Look, they even have a gym. They have a picture of a gym. Like a brand new gym. Look, they show you a really nice duck. Like there's a pond. Like there's a pond beside of this bitch. <laughs> Look. Look, the really nice shoes. The ducks are literally Look. Look at this shit. They even show like really nice cars, like I race cars. See, I see a bed. <laughs> In the toilet. Is this, that's a picture. That's a picture of a duck floating in that abandoned toilet. Alright. Where are the reviews on this shit? I'm dead. Reviews. <laughs> this hotel owner lies. There is no pool available. Oh there is no bar restaurant. There is no room service. The room was so nasty. It had cobwebs oh all over <laughs> the room. Black mold on the ceiling. Restaurant across the road said dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. We stayed one out two night, one out of two nights, but couldn't take any more. The fridge didn't work, but they brought another one, but it was so nasty. <laughs> okay, we're okay, okay, I get it. I get it. One get star it. only because I have to. Do not stay here. <laughs> the pics are lies. Alert, alert, dirtiest oh place I've ever God. seen. Bedding had spots all over it. Oh God! How do I find? I I am I can't even breathe. Like this. If I could give it a minus, the photos are not what they looks like. The oh. pool is green with algae and has furniture in it. <laughs> oh my God! The pool has furniture in it. Oh my God! I didn't even see a pool. I don't think I want to see it. Dirty smell. No ice machine. Don't stay there. I purchased. Air freshener and antibacterial wipes and clean the second room. Oh god, I can't breathe. Oh god. <laughs> you need to stay All in right. this truck. We need a refund. This happened literally, literally, this happened right after, right after we got the news about the truck. And I... Holly, <laughs> Holly's losing it. Literally, Holly's losing it. Relax, Holly. Okay, I don't want to. It's talk. only eighty-six hundred dollars. <laughs> they said a head gasket job was four to five thousand, and then they called us, and they were like, "Oh, it's gonna be like eighty-six hundred. Every part of the truck needs to be replaced. They said everything in the whole truck needs to re everything. be replaced. Everything. The hoses, the oil cooler. <laughs> They said they have to flush the heater core. I mean, they're like, it's gonna cost you um, $3,600 more. Oh, and, and then on top of all that, it's $600 in taxes. In taxes. But what I don't understand is, I don't know. I mean, I know like when you, when you have a blown head gasket, you get oil like in your coolant and in hoses and everything but don't you just flush it like you don't replace every single thing you just flush it like the oil cooler i mean like you just flush it out right i don't know not replace all of it i don't know but holly's losing it i'm kind of looking at it like hey if we put this if we get all this done, we'll have like a dang near brand new motor, pretty much a rebuilt we motor. Will, if we get it all done and pay that, we will owe $24,000 on this truck. We'll be $24,000 in debt. <laughs> yeah. 
That's how I see it. Yeah. I just want to set it on fire. Yeah. Yeah. You could literally get like a, a semi-decent double-wide trailer for $24,000. Like, we would be so massively in debt that it's... <clears throat> I need a beer. advertisement and the pictures that did not match the reality of what this hotel was and the guy the manager at the hotel absolutely denied our request said we knew what we were getting into said absolutely not gonna give us our money back so here's us letting you know that it is the Magnuson Hotel in Williamston, North Carolina. And the address and <laughs> Never phone, go there. Address and phone number in the description. No, no. No. Anyway, we did not get our, our, no, it's not a deposit. We did not, we had to pay for that hotel up front. We are not getting it back. So how much? Oh yeah? Yeah. Dang right. Well, this room looks all right. Yeah. Not bad. Way better than the crackhead crack hotel. In. The crack in. Better than the crack in. Crack in. Oh, How's the bathtub? You see this? It's a sauna. Sauna? Uh huh. Dang. Ain't too bad. It looks like a nice sized bathtub. Yeah, it's nice. I'm about to enjoy that. We're niceness. about to get this room for two nights. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. You? We're getting this for two nights. Oh, Daddy. it feels so good to just be away from Daddy, all the you stress. Didn't make oh, bubbles. camping. You didn't yeah. make bubbles. I mean, we need a break, man. We just hey, need a break. We need more than a break. Oh, yeah, I got bubbles. <laughs> yeah, you have. Oh. <laughs> How's it feel? Oh. Oh man, all right. <laughs> Just waiting for my hernia to pop back in. <laughs> Where are you? It's all backwards and upside down. <laughs> hey, we're at the hotel. We're gonna live it up. And just think about our next move. Got away from that pamphlet. <laughs> wait, who gave you that? Did you take a real bath? Yeah. <laughs> but when your hand? Bubble bath. Bubble. When's the last time we had a bubble bath, Elian? Three minutes. <laughs> what? This is so much better than a camp shower. <laughs> What is 